about it before we do the demonstration. You have two rotating discs here with metal pads on it. As a disc rotates, they ro rotate in opposite positions. And they start collecting electrostatic energy, separating the charges from the air around it. And uh, as it charges up, light jars, which are at the end, you build up a positive and negative charge on it. Okay, this morning the charge was negative on this side and positive on this side. But it can switch because there's nothing, once it's shorted, uh, there's nothing to stop it from switching charges. Okay. So we'll go ahead and try not to get shocked. Okay. We'll put uh, a connector here on this side. By the way, I should mention that none of us have had the time to do all these in front of a group. So if we're a little bit slow, please forgive us. It's, it's a little nerve-wracking for us to do this. And where'd my other one? I'm going to connect this. There's a candle here on this, and you over there will not be able to see it. What we're going to do is charge that plate with a negative charge, and that's going to attract the plasma of the candle flame. And it will look like a wind blowing the, the candle. That's if I can get this other side here to connect. That will work. That will work. Think positively. That will work. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to rotate this. We'll charge that. So you won't see any sparks, but you will see that candle flame blowing towards the flat metal plate. It's like someone's blowing on the candle. If you, if you put it in the wrong direction, the flame just flattens out and doesn't, doesn't do it. Anyway, uh, because of the charges of the ions coming off the flame, that's why it's attracted to it. Okay, so that's the first one. Uh, we have another demonstration here we can do. Are you guys ready for... Yeah, I think we'll just... 